Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for the sign of Libra. So if you have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, or anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate with you. If you are dealing with a Libra, this reading could definitely resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for the sign of Libra. Okay, Libra and or Cross Watcher. Um, you guys have dealt with a narcissist. And the effects of this narcissist are still on you right now, okay? Um, your first row tells me, either in the past or in the present, you feel regret. You feel regret. Um, loneliness with the Four of Cups and the Hermit in reverse. Because you were dealing with the Six of Wands narcissist. There's no victory with this person, but this is narcissism. Um... Second row really tells me what was going on. Definitely fighting. You guys were fighting. And I think this person had a wandering eye. Um, you have the three of pentacles in the reverse. The king of wands in the upright. The queen of pentacles in the upright. And the five of swords in the upright. So what this whole row is telling me is that... Um, this, if you guys were married, because the Queen of Pentacles either you wanted to be this person's wife, spouse, um, and that's what you were working for. And I'm going to tell you, this is the second spread that I put down for you guys, uh, Libra. And in the first spread, I saw such a strong karmic connection. And I couldn't tell whether or not this was new love or um, uh, the old past person. And what I was strongly getting with it... <laughs> was that it was the past person, like this person you had to walk away from. It was really, really strong. You had a lot of love for this person. But um, I can't remember the outcome card as of yet, but it just didn't, the reading, something wasn't making sense. But now that I see the second spread, it does. You two probably wanted to marry each other or were married. This King of Wands, though, is someone who is not faithful. See, the King of Wands could be a good husband, you know, as far as like uh, making sure the house is together, the kids are taken care of, you know, everything is has structure, it's nice, all everybody's needs are met. But when he feels like I've met everyone's needs, he feels like I, I need to meet my own needs outside of my family. And it could be with um, other people. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse gives me that vibe that, you know, I... I look to start things with others, okay? He, this person left something open, okay? Um, and there's a lot of conflict with the Five of Swords, whether you found out about this or not, because uh, I think you did with the moon being in the reverse and then this Nine of Cups, meaning someone was hiding something. So what was hidden is revealed. There were others. There were others. Others that I think this... I think this King of Pentacles actually offered somebody some love, but like a cup. And when they did that, if if they didn't offer it to another person, they're trying to offer it to you in the future, coming soon. Um, but you, in this time and space away from this person, have gained a new perspective about what this relationship was about um, and where you're headed, okay? <clears throat> Because the tarot is telling me, whether you feel it or not, that this person is only coming back to deceive you. They're not going to change their behavior. It will stay the same. It will stay the same. So what they're asking you to do is to release the baggage from this relationship and just move on. Just move on. See, because you started out with regret and then you end up leaving it all behind. Okay, Libra, you'll be happier, healthier that way. OK, because um, what I was seeing in the first spread, this person had the, the devil was at the bottom of the deck. The devil. And then we got the moon. So this is an, a, a, someone who is probably obsessive um, and really chained to their vices. OK, 
Um, so yeah, just leave them alone. I know that it was strong. It was strong because that first spread, I was like, damn, I don't know if this is new love or the past person, but whatever y'all had, it was, it was a strong karmic connection because there's the, even here, there's no love here. No real love. None that I see. I don't trust this cup. I don't trust this cup at all. Like the, the emotions are there, but what it takes to keep this thing solid and together is not. You always end up feeling alone. Like you're doing this by yourself. So go away. Like you go away. Don't bring this person back into your life. Um, all right, Libra, that is what I have for you. If this reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. And if you would like to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. All right, guys.